And welcome, everybody. How you doing? It's me, Chandler, here with you guys. But not just me. I'm back. Thank you, Jill. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. All of you anime geeks, Ruby geeks, Marvel geeks, Disney geeks, computer geeks, band geeks, movie geeks, whatever geek you can think of. Welcome, everybody, to the CJRT Podcast. Thank you all so much for joining me and Jill on a nice Saturday. It's, honestly, it's a, it, it's so nice outside. We actually had some good weather for once. Don't jinx it. This is Michigan. Well, technically, anybody who jinx any kind of weather, it ends up happening. Anyway. Really. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, uh, first off, we have... A great show for you guys today. We got a couple topics that we wanted to discuss with you guys. We know now it's the middle of August and a lot of things have happened so far as far as kids going back to school, going back to college, and um, band and when, camp. Band camp. That's what I was trying to say. Like with the uh, band geeks, if you guys know me and Jill, we are band geeks in general. We like we did band all throughout high school and did you do it in middle school? Or? I did. Yeah, I did it for a good two years in middle school, and then my eighth grade year, I didn't realize that I could take band and choir at the same time, so I kind of screwed myself over, but it's okay. But why wouldn't you think you had to take band and, you can only, you could take more than just one. You can actually pick any class you I want. I didn't know. <laughs> okay, okay. I hated it in middle school. I didn't like asking questions. But no, no, no. I have uh, quite a few friends that are still in band as of right now, and I saw on their Snapchats that they were in the middle of band camp. And every time I see those, I just think, God, I hated band camp. It had its moments of being fun, but at the same time, it just felt like my feet wanted to run away after popping off my legs. I feel you. You know, I can remember my first time at band camp where... We were just standing at attention and everything, and I can assure you, my back was hurting so badly. Like my back was probably the only thing that was hurting, besides the besides my knees, my arms, my legs, all that. It, like my back was probably the sorest out of all of it. Same, 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 dude. I I don't think there was a single year where I did not collapse from pain in my back, which was so ridiculous because I played the flute. It was so awful, and I hated it. But I was going somewhere with the story. I totally forgot what it was. <laughs> You're fine. You're, well, so I'll mention, too, like, when I was in band, we went to a camp in Jackson, Michigan, yep. the YMCA store camps, and I was there all... The, I didn't do marching band my freshman year because I was new to Huron, so I didn't do marching band that year. I did symphonic that year and that's how I got into marching band as well. But we were in the Jackson area for band camp and now you guys were at this new uh, church camp in Fowlerville. I thought it, it was Howell. Howell, right. Yeah. Sorry, uh, it's right down the road from where my aunt lives and my aunt is just like right past the the Fowlerville border. I can't talk today. Oh my god. Wow. Well, the thing, well I you know, I'll just say like I'm 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 with you on that one too because I was told that your guys' band when like when you guys went to the Howell camp the first time, you guys like were like in an AC facility or something. Yeah, we it was really it was really really weird. It was kind of like a bunkhouse basically because uh my freshman sophomore year we went to the YMCA place that you were at in right. in Jackson. And I love right, that right. place. That was a good place. Yeah, it was a bunch of cabins, giant common area room for all of us to hang mm-hmm. out with, and then the guys and the girls had two separate cabins. And then sure. this place was very unfair, not gonna lie, because um you had one section of the building that we were staying in that was kinda like hotel with like two uh full size beds inside of it. And then there were these two other rooms with a giant gym that connected as a common area between them. And they were, inside of them, they had concrete floors, brick walls, and it was three rows of uh, bunk beds. Kind of like a military style camp. You definitely knew it was like a church camp style because they had like crosses and stuff set up everywhere and they were like little prayers written on the wall and on well, the beds the, and everything. It was, the um, YMCA one in Jackson was the same too, I think. I think that one was... No, a, no. I thought it was a Christian camp. 
It might have been a Christian camp, but it was set up a lot more nicer, a lot more space, uh, sure, less sure, rules, and sure. it was just, it was a lot more, like, holy, not, like, holy or God, what was I going to say, like, wholesome, Sure. I guess. Kind of, it, it literally did feel like a summer camp when you stay at the YMCA. And uh, this church camp in Howell, it was nice, but I didn't like it because the guys got to stay inside of the hotel area because there were fewer of them. Mm-hmm. But they had to, like, double up in a lot of places. And then the girls, we got stuck out inside those bunkhouses, and they smelled so bad. <laughs> they smelled like feet. The guys had these totally awesome, comfortable beds, and we had, like, these little inflatable mattresses that came with the beds. I was like, I hated this so much. So pretty much you would pick the Jackson camp over that one. I think it was, like, a money thing. Well, that too. But, you know, every time I think about it, I would, like, if I ever went to the Jackson area, that's what I always think about is when I was in band camp and stuff. Now, I will mention, too, like, there was barely any shelter at the YMCA, though. I mean, you had the big building, then you had your cabins, but when you're practicing and everything, you're always outside. Yeah. We actually practiced, the trumpets practiced at the archery range. It was the, every time we went there. Which uh, which field did you guys practice on? We year? practice Okay, so you know you know the big um you know the big cafeteria building. Yeah, the mess hall. Yeah, yeah, the mess hall. It's like the field like right next to it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like you got the mess hall here, then you got um the, the field here, then you got the guys' cabin here, then you got the girls' cabin that's all the way in the back. And then you have the other field that's in the yes. opposite direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, had yeah. you had like the rock the rock wall. Yeah, if, yeah. If you remember, yeah, that part was. Were, I liked it. Were you at that field all three years that you? All were three in? years. Yep. We I, that we never. That was like I. I'll just say we were always there. We were always in the same spot. I can remember my seen my sophomore and my senior year. I was practically in the same bunk bed, like the same bed, the same bunk, both those years, and it actually wasn't bad because mine was right under an air vent, <laughs> so I was I had cool temp and everything right where I was because I was on the top bunk and I could not sleep underneath that air vent it would kill my sinuses in the middle of the night I'd wake up like it was, it it was, I will admit it, it was a little annoying but it, it, that that sound just put me to sleep and then come I guess I think we got up like at seven in the morning or something like, seven or seven thirty yeah we we'd all get up and we would all just sit there tired as hell and it it wasn't good like I, I couldn't even get out of bed I was so tired yeah um my freshman year we were at that same field in the same mm-hmm. cabins yep, yep. but I think the guys in the girls cabins were reversed that year so like we were in I'll have to ask Chase because he'll he would know I think but um the second year that we were there the last year we were in oh fudge where were we at uh, la, 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 la. We were in the next field over. Like you said, that you tra- practice at the uh, the archery area, yeah. right? Well, that that's where the trumpets practice. Well, right, but, but um, but, but like but, when we were all in a marching group. No, 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 I know, we were, I know, I know. We were by I know, that. Yeah, I know. yeah, we were we were um, in an archery spot. Yeah. Um. So that field next to the archery area is where we practiced uh, my sophomore year. Oh, okay. And it worked out really nicely because of the we had a there was a tree line basically surrounding us, yep, and then. Yep. When the sun started going down, like, towards the afternoon, it gave us a lot more shade, so it was nicer. And then the archery area had that little um, gazebo-type yep, thing, yep, yep. and the that, flutes, that's where we would That's where we practiced. Yeah, the flutes would practice there, too. We would just hide okay. out underneath there, and then we had our tent set up all day. Sure. It was, it was a lot of fun. I will mention, too, when I was there, we had, um, we were, when we were in the archery section, I cannot tell you that I've probably lost two, um finger things on my trumpet <laughs> I, like but like they screw on there and they one i one was gone i don't know what happened to it then a year after that my senior year it happened again and i was having to go to the music stores and seeing if they had a part had that part thank god they did but i was like how the heck did i how did i lose this i don't understand like i had every other single part that i would expect to lose but out of all the parts that i had on that thing i lose my my finger tap no, i don't it, it it i don't i don't understand and if if i ever went back there and it was on the bench seat in the gazebo oh dear god <laughs> i'd be like 
hey, I know what that is. No, I That's remember, mine. <laughs> I, I feel that, though. My freshman year, my flute took a total crap on me. And the, right before we left for camp, so it was at pre-camp, mm-hmm. uh, my flute took a total crap. And I had to send it into uh, the shop where I got it from to have it done for repairs. And I sure. just finished paying it off, by the way. <laughs> um, so I had to borrow uh, our instructor's. And I like that thing better than I like my own flute. Like, the bat, the butt piece didn't fall off. My keys weren't sticky. It was just so much more easier yeah. to deal with and to clean. And it wasn't mine. <laughs> well, I never had a problem with mine at all. All the years that I had it. it was, but, I mean, it actually, it's actually even in my closet right behind you. But I, I just haven't had time to play or anything anymore. I'm just, I've just got so much going on. It's like, and, and some people would ask, like, would you ever play again? I'm like... You know, I mean, I wouldn't mind, but I I wouldn't know anything on the top of my head, to tell you the truth. If three of my finger pieces weren't broken, I'd probably end up playing mine again, because I learned how to play the Michigan Fight song on it. Um, <laughs> I never learned it. We'd never it play. Was, it was in our uh, our, six, our sixth grade year uh, books that we got at elementary school. Hmm. Well, I'll mention, too, when I was... Um, Let's see, when was it? It was my freshman year when we did our first concert. We, um, my freshman year, we decided, like, they, they did a winter concert where it was the uh, symphonic band and wind ensemble, and then it was jazz band and then marching band. So that's where I thought marching band would actually be a fun thing to do, and it, it was. Sophomore year was actually, I'm going to admit, was actually the good year, but I think junior year was actually a better year, only because we, um, when we went to Flat Rock MSBOA, that was the first time we got a one, hmm. and that was junior, and that was also the same year that um, we got a new band teacher. So That was Miss, uh, Miss R, right? Yeah. We had Mr. Her at first, and we, 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 did a, we did a good job, you know. I mean, it was all right, but as I'm seeing the band progress now, not to say they're bad, but it's like... They just some, don't have the numbers anymore. I know. It, it's not as popular as it used to be. Like, I can remember we probably had my senior, my fresh, my sophomore year, we probably had about, I'm going to say, we, pro- we, we had to have two charter buses to take us to camp. Yep. And But then junior year, we only had one. So, that, that's just how decreased the band has gone. So, I'm not saying that here on bands are bad. It's just, it's just not what it used to be anymore. It needs more, uh, more positive publicity, I think. More positive advertisement. Um, it definitely picked up my freshman year when, at that time, we had about 96, around 97 kids in there. Our charter bus, both of our charter buses were totally full, and they were full-size buses. <laughs> right. And it was really fun. And uh, my freshman year was by far my favorite year of band camp. All the seniors were really fun. They were really cool to hang out with. Our drum majors were hilarious, and I loved working with them. And, you, had to, uh, you had to deal with my brother, your senior year, for drumline. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, a uh, drum major. Eh, he wasn't too bad. It was uh, He was... <laughs> Chase, don't hate me for saying this stuff. If you ever <laughs> listen to this, I doubt you ever will. You were bossy as heck at football games. The cheerleaders hated you. Never gave them a minute to do their uh, routines. We just played over them the whole time. I felt so bad, like so bad for them. And we are so loud. It doesn't matter how many kids you have. As long as you're blaring with your instruments, you can block out any noise around you. My favorite stand tune we did was uh, Seven Nation Army. That was probably, one, I think it was the easiest song we played and two, because I knew it probably, it took me like maybe a month to memorize it. And I memorized it so well that you probably would hear me more rather than anybody else, really. So, I mean, the stand tunes were actually not bad. My fre- seeing, my, my sophomore year, damn, I cannot say, because sophomore, <laughs> sophomore and senior are so close to each other, because they will start with us. But anyway, um, when we did... Phantom of the Opera junior year, we we didn't really have a... Sh- it wasn't like a moving show, you know? Like, we were all practically in the same section. Well, I mean, in the same area on the field. But then come senior year, we did Guardians of the Galaxy. And that show was actually not a bad show. But during that time, we only had five trumpet players, 
two, I mean, three seniors, including me, and two freshmen. And we actually did pretty good. I will just say, Guardians of the Galaxy, not a bad show, but probably not one I would want to do again. The show I would do again would be Phantom of the Opera. That one was so much fun. The All the kids that were... Because uh, you said that was your senior year, right? Yeah. All right, so that was the year before I got into high school. Mm-hmm. Every kid in the band said that they either really, really loved that show or they really, really hated it. Like, um, the flute section, all three of them said that they really loved it. And they lost their minds every time uh, an 80s or... An older tune came up. Yeah, an older tune, like a, a song that was like... Ugh, I can't talk. The songs that were in that <laughs> movie, like whenever a song from like that era came on, they'd all lose their minds singing it. And for some reason, we were obsessed with Shrek. Like, that was like a cult thing that our band you know one put into our heads. For, okay, one thing for sure. When we would go into the classroom for March Band, because March Band was an hour, we... They... <laughs> Miss R wrote Shrek wrong. She wrote it S-H-E-R-K. Shirk. And we... We lost our minds. Is when that we... where that joke came from? The yes! shark joke? Oh my, my god! My senior year, we had that happen, and oh my god, these guys would not stop talking about it. And not only that, we had guys that were like, at that year, what are those came out. Oh god, I hate it. I that. can't tell you how many guys were saying that at the games. And not only at the games, but they were also say, saying like... Um, oh, what was it? Uh, it was that little John expression. I'm not going to do it, but it's it, like, uh, they were screaming. I can't tell you how many times we screamed during the games. I can remember. I, I don't know if, um, Charlotte may know this one. Um, it was my sophomore year. It was homecoming. We were reversing Riverview. And that game, I'm going to tell you right now was the Best game that I had ever seen because we almost won and that was the most points I've ever seen that football game ever get. We probably got it was the final score was forty to thirty seven, <laughs> and we were three points away from a field like we had a field goal. All we had to do was kick that field goal. We would have tied and went into overtime. They kick it. It got blocked. I was there for that game. I remember watching it. That was they that was, kicked three times and it got yeah, blocked all yeah. three times too. That was that would have been when you started um, sixth grade, I think. No, I was. Uh, I think it was. It was Chase's first year. So at Huron. Yeah, yeah at at uh, Renton. So wait, what year was he? Was this was two thousand thirteen. Oh, yeah, so I was probably, you are right, I was probably yeah. in the sixth grade. Yeah, so. But no, I remember that game, that poor kid. I know, I was, and it was so weird because, like, we were all just, it's like, what is going on? Like, I usually never paid attention with these games and stuff, but I was so into this game. It was like, like, our, we, sh- we should have won that game. I'm sorry, okay? I know we're already eight years ahead of that, but it's like. <laughs> well, we, we were really close. We only needed one field goal to I win. I know, and we would have gone into overtime, but. Yeah, that didn't happen. Yeah, no. Um, I think it was my sophomore, my junior year. We played against, I think it was some team, some football team outside of our district. Though I don't know why we played them, but they came. They came Oof. over. We they played on our field, and if you know Huron, my four years of high school, we kind of sucked. I think my entire four years, we won like three games that I was at least at. My, um, my junior year, we we won so many games. We actually, that was the first year we went into, I, I think we were district champs that year. Because we, act, cause, and I can remember my, it would have been after I graduated, or it was probably the one away game we went to, we actually beat SMCC. And beforehand, we never, play, we never beat them. It was so, like, that was like a miracle, really. I actually had uh, one of my football friends explain to me why they hated playing SMCC so much, and apparently they had this, some kind of T formation that they do for their offensive line, and it's just really hard for them to find out where the ball is because they move it around so fast, and I don't know what it was, I don't remember how he explained it to me, but he spent, we were in algebra, and for 40 minutes we just sat there talking about football. But no, um... I'll tell you, fall... Fall in high school is probably the best years to be in school. And come after the new year, to be honest with you, I mean, there's nothing really going on. Like, football, homecoming, those all are the most popular things 
rather than like I guess uh, softball or wrestling or any other sports. I mean, not to say I don't. I, I not no, to say no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I wouldn't say wrestling isn't that popular because the wrestling right. meets when I was in high school were actually really good. Like a lot of kids would show up for those. Like they were all the hype. Yeah, but then I can remember the first pep game I ever played for was for coming home, and that was my freshman year, and. We actually played that. We actually played a really good game that day, and uh, it looks like you're out of time. I guess. <laughs> Finish your story. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, I I, I kind of was already, but uh, yeah, playing for pep games and playing for football games and stuff were actually very fun. We played for a soccer game once, but uh, a couple of the soccer players were like, "Why the hell were you there?" I don't. Why? Why a soccer game? I basketball, don't know. Basketball, I understand because we did that quite a few times. But you soccer? did. You did. Yeah. It, it was. I guess it was just to get the the newbies into. I guess it was just to get the newbies in motion and stuff. So, really, to be honest, I mean, marching band and all, it was probably more better than concert band. I will just because I was in symphonic band from freshman to junior year, but I was signed up for wind ensemble junior year. But I guess from the way that I auditioned, they put me back in symphonic band, which to be honest, I mean, wasn't really fair. But they actually put me in a uh, wind ensemble senior year, which was was actually good. And I will just say, being in band was probably the best thing that I ever did during high school. I'm conflicted as to whether or not it had a good influence on me or a bad influence. Marching band was definitely a better influence on my life because I had a lot more fun there. Sure. But symphonic band was incredibly stressful for me. I hated doing solo and ensemble. I had really bad anxiety, and I absolutely hated doing it. I never tried out for wind ensemble because of how more, much more stressful it was. And I was sure. A, sure. I wasn't the greatest player I don't know why, I just, I could never get the fingering down with my flute. There was just so many ways to do it. And with our instrument, you can never actually see the fingering, unlike sure, everybody else. Sure. But yeah. no, it was just, it was so complicated. But marching band was definitely more along the lines of my favorite thing. Yeah, yeah to, to finish up, we um, we are running a little on time. But I will just say, the one thing I loved during marching band was doing the parades. Yes, the, the oh home, my god. The homecoming parade. Apple Fest parade. Ap- I loved that parade. I only got two Apple Fest parade because they shut down that stupid bridge for two years. I got my freshman, I got my senior year. Best two experiences of my life. And my senior year, I led the parade because I was in the front row. I know. I it was like, great. I, I loved it. I remember when, when they brought it back, I, was, I actually held the banner for the marching band just because I was there and they were like, we need someone to hold the banner. <laughs> I was like... Okay. My uh, my aunt got a video of me doing my little smirk that I always do whenever <laughs> I drop my flute down. And when I looked over and I saw her, she got me winking at her. <laughs> so she has like this awesome video of me. There is it a vi- great. I, they did get a video of me walking on the in the parade too. And I thought that was very fun. But then I mean the year after that, then COVID hit, and then they canceled it again this year. It, I mean I love Apple Fest. Don't get me wrong, but. I mean, not only do I like Apple Fest for the parade, but I like Apple Fest because of all the stuff that they have. Agreed. I mean, I mean, it, it's just a lot of fun. So I mean, I just if, go for the elephant ears. <laughs> you must be a big fan of them. I mean, I I'm, love them. Well, then I guess we'll know what we have to do when we go for next Apple Fest if uh, if they have it next year. Next if, Apple Fest, I'm making you ride the mechanical bull. I've never rode one. You're gonna do it. I want to see if you can beat my record. Okay, we'll we'll uh we'll keep this recording as proof that you wanted me to. So, Let go. Okay. All right, well ladies and it. gentlemen, we have officially ran out of time. I just whacked my own mic. Oh my god. And you hit Yang. How I did. could you? I did. I did. Anyways. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe. Leave us comments down in the section below. Give us some ideas to talk about in the next show. And go ahead and follow us on Instagram at CJRT Media. Thanks again for listening, everybody. I can't talk. Wow. Jeez. I'm Jill Sapula. And I'm Chandler Kozlovich. We'll see y'all later. Talk to you next weekend, everybody. Have a great night, everybody. Bye.